Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. Now in this video, Paul will share with you eight AutoCAD Express tools that might change the way you work with AutoCAD. Now these Express tools are Arc Align Text, Explode Attributes, Super Hatch, Break Line Symbol, Enclose the Object, List Properties, Replace the Block and Auto Number. So with that, let's get started with the first Express tool. So this is my arc that I will create a text on top of this. So how to create the text? Head on to the Express Tool tab, click on the arc align. I can either launch this by clicking here or by typing in the command on the command tab over here. And the command is listed there. Select an arc. For my case, this is our arc. Click on it. And my text is sample to be demonstrated. And I'll specify my text height over here. And my height of the text is 200. And the offset from the arc can remain as 50. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to specify the alignment, either on the left, the right, or feet along the curve, or be center along the curve. I prefer feet along the curve. And I can also specify the font that I want. And if I want it to be annotative, as per the annotation, the annotation that I have here. Just hit on OK. You can also specify the color that I want. Let's go with cyan and hit OK. So after hitting OK, this is the text that will be sampled or that will be shown over here. So for my case, it's rather big. I can change the size by clicking on this, right click, go to properties, specify the height of the text here for the 150 like so or if I want to change the context or even the height I can easily go back to arc align select the arc align text which is this and I can change here to 80 and I can also change something else if I wanted to for example bold and hit ok and now I have my sample to be demonstrated and it looks beautiful so now let's talk about the burst command. And for that, I'll use this title block. Now this title block is slightly special because the text here that you see is not just simple text, but rather attributes. For example, this is project name, which is a simple text, but then the name of the actual project is actually an attribute. So what does it mean? Well, if you select this title block, right click, go to properties, you can actually change these values from this attributes panel. So you can just go to this attribute section and let's say we want to change the sheet number, it's A01. I'll make it A02 and just look at here it's A01 I'll press tab key that changed to A02 so that's an attributed block alternatively you can just double click on this title block that's going to show all the attributes or the information that you can change and you can just manually change it here now what will happen if we explode this kind of block well first let me just make a copy so I'll go to copy and I'll just copy this block right here so we have the same block here but now if I go to explode, select this one and explode. Look at this. Now, well, of course, all these things are returned back to the normal line and poly lines in text. But just look at this. So this is now P name. It was sample project. This is P num. So basically, these are the attribute tags. So when you explode it, everything returns back to attribute tag. And now this title block is no longer well useful because we don't have the actual information. Now, what if you want to keep that actual information, for example, this one here, in that case, you can use the burst express tool. So I'll go to express tool. I'll select this burst express tool, which is also called explode attributes. And you can use its command B-U-R-S-T for this. So I'll select this. I'll select this block and enter. There we are. Now it's still just a normal object. Now it's converted into line, polyline and text. But this thing retained the actual properties so whatever the attributed text was it just retained that information so that's the difference between a simple explode and this explode attributes or the burst option by the way if you want to know how to make this title block well the link is in the description or you can click here at the top to just learn more about making a title block with this kind of attributes now, okay, before we move any further, I want to share with you this completely free 200 AutoCAD commands ebook that contains AutoCAD 2D, 3D commands, along with several Express tools and even more. 
Now click the link in the description or on the top right here to get the book for free. Now back to the video. The other option or the other express tool that I usually use is the Superhatch express tool, which is found here. So this one is really good when trying to prepare flows or trying to prepare special type of hatches custom made. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the home tab and I'll prepare a simple tile, go to rectangle, specify any point, and the dimensions will be 700 by 700 by 700 millimeters. And I'll just specify the point of my square. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to chamfer off some edges. And I'll specify polyline and I'll cut off a distance of about 50 millimeter on each side. And I'll just specify this one to be chamfered off, so like so. The other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to insert a circle inside. Circle, specify two points. So from this point to this other point. The other thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to the polyline and I'll create a simple square inside this, like so, looking like a diamond. And the last thing I can do is just a small circle inside here radius so because this is there so something like that and then i'll just create a block from this insert create block and i'll call it tile and then i'll specify it on screen the center bin there but let me put the center bin outside like so there and this is the object select and hit enter it's deleted because it's now saved in the system. I'll go back to home tab and I'll create just a simple circle like so. And I'll put the super hatch inside here. Express tool, super hatch, select block. So you have different types of patterns that you can select. For my case, I'll start with block, but I'll also show you the image. Select block, then specify the block that you want. For myself, I want to work with the tiles. Hit OK, and I'll specify this on screen. Hit on OK. So I want to insert my tile at this point, nearly at the edge, but just at this point. And then I'll just use the scale factor of 1, the same for Y, and the rotation angle 0. And the computer will ask me if the placement of the block is OK with me. To me, it is. So by default, it's yes. Just hit on Enter. And then it will ask me the extents if they're okay with me it is. So just hit on enter. And then just specify the point at which the array casting will start. So by default, I want it to start from the center. Click on nearly the center. Then specify the confined bounded area. And this is okay with me. Just hit on enter. So are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm sure, just hit on enter. If you're not, just hit on no. But for a case, just hit on enter. Yes. Give it a few seconds. It will just generate the array. So having generated our tiles, they're rather many. You can see them, how beautiful they are, and they're custom made. So this one is a very good express tool as it can be used mainly by designers, especially structural, electrical, roads, so on and so forth. For example, if I was to show that they these uh discontinuation from this point all the way maybe for up to the roof i have to put a brake line symbol here and to do this in a rather simple way is to head to the express tool select the brake line symbol and then i'll just specify the spaces or the dimension that i want so for example for the size i can specify 300 300 millimeters and the extension i can work with 400 millimeters or 500 let's work with 500 millimeters hit on enter so i'll specify my first point then the second and then the mid or the center of the midpoint where we're going to put our break symbol so this point and like so if i'm not contented with the size of this it's rather easy i'll just go back to the break line symbol i'll specify my sizes once again so the break line symbol i can work with 500 500 millimeters for this demonstration and the extensions I can work with just uh, 800 just for demonstration purposes and then I'll just select the first point and the second point 
in the center where we'll have our break symbol. So this one is not content, I can just delete it. The good thing with this, I can now just uh, copy it through other sections of uh, my drawing. So just select this one, go back to home, select copy from this point to that point, from that point to that point. And just like that, now we have a simple break line and it's showing from this point is broken. The column is continuous and the column is continuous from this point to this point. If I don't want to show this, I can just trim them trim the unwanted parts off like so and now you can see it's a column footing with a column and it's breaking at this point and moving up up to that point so what i want to do i want to enclose this uh text i'll go to express tool just close this and i'll go to enclose this object either by a circle a slot or a rectangle so click on this specify the object that you want this one hit and enter then I'll specify the offset factor. This is not the offset distance, it's the offset factor. So for my case, I'll work with 1.502. Two is okay, hit on enter. And then I'll specify what should I enclose it with. Is it, is it a circle? Is it a slot or is it a rectangle? So for my case, I'll work with a circle. And then is a circle constant or variable? So this one is applicable when you're dealing with different text, multi-line text, but I'll just show you in a few. Select constant, and now we have something like this, okay? So if I wanted to create, go to express tool, if I want to create slots for this one, go to enclose objects, select the objects that you're working with, this one's, hit and enter, then select the offset factor, so we can work with one for this time, hit and enter, and select slots, and then select variable, so that the slot will vary as per the text size. And just like that, we have a beautiful representation of what we want. So we can move this one a bit down. So let's say up to there. And then this other one up to there. So this is what we'll, we'll be having. The other express tool that I mainly use is the list properties. So for example, I have a, I have a block. Now let's go to insert and we'll specify this one, AAQ. And then this is a point that we have over here. So how to see the properties of this circle is cyan. So right click properties and over here we cannot be able to see. So how to know the properties of this block. Close there, go to express tools, go to list properties, click on this and then click on the line that you want to see or the specific thing that you want to see. For my case, let's click on this line, the cyan line. So I can be able to see that this object is actually a circle. The layer is a grid. The color is by layer and the line type is by layer. And for our case, we have already specified the layer line to be dash dash. For us to check on this other one, list properties, for example, this one. So this is an M text. The layer is zero, the color is by the layer, so on and so forth. And we can also see the style name text that we are using. All right, so the next express tool that we'll see is replace block. Now consider a situation where we have, well, this floor plan and we've got several blocks inside this drawing. One of the block that I maybe want to replace is this desktop PC, which is very old school. And I just want to replace it with a new kind of LCD panel type PC uh, with keyboard. Now, of course, in this case, if you want to do that, you may need to just do it manually one by one. But if you don't want to do it, if you just want to automate this entire process, then that's where Express Tool Block Replace will help you. Let me show you how it works. So I have created a replacement block for this. So if I go to insert and new PC, well, you're going to see this. Now, that's the new setup that I want to replace with this one. So in this case, as you can see, we have a curved display, keyboard, mouse, and so on. Now, one thing that you need to keep in mind when replacing a block is the base point. So this one and this one, they both share the same base point. So after replacement, this point, this base point will coincide with this one. So I've made it in such a way that if I coincide these two points, the block's going to look good. So with that out of the picture, let's now see how that works. So I'll go to Express Tool, Replace Block, and I'll select the block that we want to replace. In this case, that's computer. Now, how do I know that? Well, you can select this block, right click, go to properties. It's gonna show its name. And I know that its name is computer, so I'll select that. Now, click okay, 
and now select the block you want to replace it with. So in this list, well, of course, I have this new PC as well. That's the one which I want to replace. So click OK. And we have one last prompt. Do you want to purge the original blocks? Do you want to remove this block as well from the local block library? Well, in general, we do want to remove it because while well, we have already replaced it, so it's no longer required. So you can just press enter and it will remove this block entirely from this drawing, not even from your drawing view, but also in the library, it just it will just remove it. If, however, you don't want to remove it, you want to keep it in the library, just type N and press enter. In this case, I want to remove it completely. So I simply press enter and that's going to take the default option that is yes. And this will happen. So all the blocks in your drawing are replaced with this new setup. Everywhere it's just replaced. And it's just a matter of selecting a few clicks and we are done. If you go to the library now, there is no block called computer anymore because that's purged as well. So that's the replace block. The last but not the least is the auto number. For example, we have different types of grids. Let's go to annotate and create some samples here. So capital A, this one, and I'll just copy it multiple times. So select it, home, copy from this point to in a straight line. So turn on author. So we copy it about 10 times. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, so we have some on the X direction and some on the Y direction. So if you head to the express tools, you can go to auto number. So the auto number, you specify the objects that you want to auto number or to name. So select this one, select enter, and you select that, how do you want to sort them? Either in the X direction. So the X direction is this one flowing to this direction or in the Y direction flowing from top going to down or by the order that it's selected. So for my case, I'll start in the X direction from this point, like this, depending on how the computer will read. I don't know if I place, let's see, X direction, and the starting number and the increment level. So the starting number for my case will be zero, and the increment level will be in tens. So put a comma and put 10. and hit on enter. And then just, do you want to have it as a prefix or suffix? So this is before the number, before the letter. This is after the number or after the letter. Overwriting, you replace everything. So I can just say overwrite. And just like that, I have 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, so on and so forth up to 90. And this is a very good command that I usually use, especially for grid lines. It's amazing. So that was our list of useful AutoCAD Express tools. Now, if you found this video interesting, then click the subscribe button to get more such videos. I'll see you soon in the next one.